Hey, what's up guys? Tetrax here. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a quick demo of the controller config I'm using now that Steam released their Steam controller for Xbox out of beta. It works really well. I've used Xpatter and I've tried a couple other things to kind of make it work. But I really like the default controller that's built into Elder Scroll. And some people have tried to make, make that work with uh, XPatter and a couple other things. The problem is, is when you switch to uh, the mouse, the, the default, what do you call it, the default uh, menus for like inventory like this, you couldn't move the mouse around, right? Unless you had a mouse keyboard around you, you couldn't use the controller. So right now I'm using the controller because it made some configurations inside Steam that allows me to use my left stick as a, or my right stick as a controller. Also, I was able to add a, a daisy wheel in here for the top menus that are up, up there. So if I want to go to skills, I just click on the thumbstick. If I want to go to character, notifications, and I can use my uh, right stick to go over to whatever I want. And I can click on them with uh, my triggers, which are bound to mouse buttons. But as soon as I get out, it jumps me back into controller, uh, the controller UI. I mean, the controller theme. So it gives me the analog feedback here. Um, left trigger in A is to roll. So everything is the same as you would play with the normal controller configuration inside that ESO has, which I like. The only difference is uh, you, you actually have to use an add-on called uh, Advanced Disable Controller with this, so that way it gives you the default UI, but when you are going to collect something or interacting with things, it's going to give you the default, uh, the default keys. So like if I went up to this, it's going to say E to interact. So it really helps that you know what the controller layout is, which is a is to interact with this, right? Um, also, the maps change. I'm using a uh, the the default map here, and my bumpers I've assigned to zoom in and out, so I can zoom in and out real quickly with that. Um, the left trigger gets me out of there. If I want to go in again, I can by zooming with my bumpers, and my right trigger makes me go in further. So it works pretty pretty well. The other thing I really like is that I have a banker and I'd like to access them pretty quickly and going through. Um, so let's say normally I would have to go to um, my collections and then go to assistance, click on assistance and come over here and double click on, on him to activate him and then, you know, back out. He's right here. But I have a, another setup to where it kind of does it automatically. I'm, I'm in my UI now, and right here is Typhus. If I just thumb click that, it turns them on and off. So um, I can come and do it again, and he's back. He should be back somewhere right here. So I set up a, a way to do that, and you can uh, I can show you real quick on that. You, it's even if you have favorite mounts, maybe you want to switch between mounts really quickly, you can do that. Um, so I did an example here. Here's my spotted horse. I don't have any other mounts besides the horses. But basically uh, that activated my spotted horse or maybe I wanted to um, activate my just my regular horse. And now when I whistle, it brings up my other horse. So you can, uh, you can do this pretty simple with the new Steam UI, so I don't have to worry about um, the going through a bunch of menus to, to turn things off and on that I don't want. Now, I will be would be careful because I think the, the, they do talk about not using macros, and this is, I guess, like a macro, even though it's built into Steam. It could possibly get your account banned if you use it improperly. Say, for instance, you bind some attacks or whatever to, to do multiple things that people tend to do. 
in PvP, from what I hear. Uh, yeah, if you get caught doing that, you could definitely get your account banned. But for doing these quick little things, or hopefully, you know, your account's safe. I don't know how they track all that stuff, but I would be careful with that. But the quicks, let me show you quickly what I have set up here. Um, as you can see, my action sets, I have two action sets up at the top. I have gamepad, which is the default ESO uh, gamepad. I've added a few things in here. As you can see uh, down here on the A, I have added keypad one so I could um, roll. And basically, you have to go into um, the menu here, the controls, right? And you have to assign roll to a button. And then once you get that, I assigned it to numpad one. Once you assign it, then you can come in and, and uh, do things. So when you assign things in here, you can actually pull them up in the Steam because you're saying, I want this button to act like that. So um, I assign that to roll so I can double click. And when I go here, you can see double pressing A is going to give me keypad one. All right. So the other thing is uh, switching UIs. This is uh, when I switch to UI, uh, it gives me the radio menu. And then if I hold lump left bumper down, I get another radio menu by, by making this over here under the style of input. And this is where I have my mounts and banker set up. So you have to do a couple, quite a few little actions in here to make that work. Uh, so first off, you got to call up your collection menu, which is you, right? And the second thing you do is you have a move cursor. So when I come here, there's a move cursor here. So you got to make sure your menu's up when you do this action. So, cause I'll show you an example. So that's where the cursor is set right now. Um, if the menu is up. So I'm going to back up cause I don't want to move it. Uh, but you, you have to have the menu up to know where to set the cursor. So once you have that set, you go to, um, you want a key press, which is the left mouse. Make sure I have this right. Back out of this. Okay, so the left mouse is gonna be your next because it's gonna key press assistance. Your fire start delay. I've tried a bunch of different settings in here to lower it. It does it fairly quick, but 10 clicks is what you want this at. So it starts all the way to the left. So if you click go one, two, up to 10, 10 clicks, that'll fire it off correctly. The next thing you want to do is um, set up the mouse cursor and move again over to the assistant or your horse or whatever, whatever you're trying to do with this. Um, the, then you're going to go in increments of five. So the first was set up at 10. Now you're going to do this one, the mouse cursor move at five. This one here is going to be um, set at 20 and it's going to be your left mouse to start activating because it takes double click to to select that one and then your next left mouse which is going to be the double click mouse left is going to be at 25 and then to back out is um left alt so and that one's going to be it set at 30 here on fire start delay now you do notice where it says start to press um what that means is when i start to press the thumbstick is when it activates all these and I prefer it that way so I, I know it fires off. That means that you got to immediately release um, your thumbstick click after you press it. Otherwise it can actually mess up the whole signal and it'll stop somewhere and you'll have to redo it. So make sure that you just click it and let go real quick. You can do uh, normal press, regular press, but I find that it's buggy too. So this is the best layout for me. You guys can mess around. Maybe you guys can find something better. It seems to work really well for me. Um, but definitely 
way easier to get to them than having to go through all the menus. Well, it's not a lot of menus, but you know, it makes it faster. So anyways, that's uh, kind of what I want to share with you guys was uh, this layout, this uh, UI, and it seamlessly goes back and forth between the two. So it feels very natural. I don't feel like I'm uh, having to do something weird and janky with it to make it work. I get all the benefits of having the default layout, controller layout that Elder Scroll built, plus the default UI, like, and so I can use all my add-ons that I, I like to use. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this vid. If you did, give me a thumbs up, um, and I'll catch you guys next time. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Later.